Go back when Obama was in office, you got some heat from it from various folks. When you look and see what's happening, what, what goes through your mind? You know, I despise a dictatorship. I despise authoritarianism. And I do not want the people of Cuba to suffer under that repressive regime. He said Fidel was a bad guy. He was all he was saying was there's this one thing no that they did. He's, and American he's, voters don't understand matter. nuance. They yes, hear they communism. No, and no, they, no, no, this is Hello, fellow enemies of the state, and welcome back to another dry heave inducing look at the spew. But first, give me just a moment to tell you about this special offer from preparewithdronetech.com. These days, the future is still more uncertain than ever. That's why people who know what's coming are using today to prepare. You can't wait until the last moment. By then, it's too late. The most important thing you need is long-term storage emergency food. It stays fresh for up to 25 years and will be there when you need it. I strongly recommend My Patriot Supply, America's leader in self-reliance. They're the only source my family uses for emergency food planning. And right now, you can save $50 off a four-week supply of delicious meals that provide 2,000 plus calories a day. Calories give you the energy you need to survive. And saving $50 is impossible to pass up, but supplies are limited. So go to www.preparewithdronetech.com right now and stock up. That's Prepare With dronetech.com. There's no time to lose. Do it now. So what we have here is Joyless Behar unsurprisingly accusing her political opposition of what she's actively playing a part in. We've been hearing this talking point from the Democrats and their state media that it's the party out of power, the Republicans, that are attacking democracy. It's a drumbeat that defies reality. First off, Joy Behar herself is an avowed supporter of socialism, communist dictatorships, and the politicians who support these same things, such as Bernie Bernie Sanders and Karen Bass, who was once considered for VP. Go back when Obama was in office, you got some heat from it from various folks. When you look and see what's happening, what, what goes through your mind? You know, I despise a dictatorship. I despise authoritarianism. And I do not want the people of Cuba to suffer under that repressive regime. He said Fidel was a bad guy. He was all he was saying was there's this one thing that no they did, he, one good thing. He said. I don't think. Yeah. Well, by the way, that that literacy program that he was talking about was a re-education program. Yes, it was. There's a big difference. There you go. The White House also announced that they are reversing the Obama administration's steps to normalize relations with Cuba. Oh, because yeah. of their human rights violations. Because the U.S. is in no condition to lecture us about human rights, given the racial discrimination happening in America now. I have to say the word socialist is now becoming a buzzword like liberal and feminist, where the right wing is now taking that word and distorting it. It's, it's being, being weaponized. bastardized, that word. They yes, hear they communism. No, no, they, no, no. This is right, right, Behar. Just like when people hear fascism, they go crazy. When they hear authoritarianism, they go crazy. People tend to get active when they see failed murderous ideologies creeping into their free country. Which is exactly why you hear from a lot of immigrants who are fleeing socialist and communist countries warning Americans and voting for Republicans. Then there was another time that she attacked Trump for criticizing socialism and complained that the word had been quote distorted by those mean nasty Republicans. Which reminds me of the time when CNN's Allison Camerata bizarrely suggested that Democrats come up with a new deceitful name for socialism in order to mis lead Americans so that they would support it. That's what the president should be talking about. They're socialists. Do you think that Democrats are making a mistake tactically, because you're a strategist, of allowing themselves to be branded as socialists, not coming up with some sort of new name. So this is very reminiscent of a lot of this pro-communist dictatorship propaganda that's been coming out of the DNC media telling us how great everything is in Cuba. Just a quick history lesson here. This slow burn effort to acclimate Americans to the idea of communism started at least decades ago. Barbara Walters used to brag about her Christmas cards from Fidel Castro. She didn't stop there though, even calling Cuba, quote, one of the freest countries on 
Earth. Castro, freedom starts with education. And if literacy alone were the yardstick, Cuba would rank as one of the freest nations on Earth. The literacy rate is 96%. I don't think, yeah. well, by the way, that, that literacy program that he was talking about uh -huh. was a re-education program. Yes, it was. There's a big difference. There MSNBC propagandist Andrea Mitchell has always expressed a lot of love for Cuba and Fidel Castro, also peddling lies of them having the highest literacy rate and best health care. Margaret, you know, I covered Cuba for years, and there's a lot of great things to say about their social services, their education, their health system. And he was a voracious reader questioning me about politics and about the economy back in the U.S., and very, very aware of everything that was going on. Very, very smart and very wedded to his revolutionary ideology. Now consider the fact that we're literally watching Democrats and the left tearing down American history, monuments, and even targeting the American flag, which we all predict not because we're psychic, but because these people are open about who they are. Right now, you have Cubans fighting in the streets against communism and waving American flags as a symbol of freedom. Yet back here in America, we have the media telling people our flag is evil and communist ideologies aren't so bad. In many respects, the former disgraced, twice impeached, one-term president to thank for politicizing the American flag. When I drive into a neighborhood and it's not July 4th and I'm not in a predominantly military household neighborhood and there are flags, American flags everywhere alongside Trump flags alongside flags in a with with uh, stars in a circle i feel threatened because the message is very clear it's a message of white supremacy it's a message of racism the imperialism the genocide the slavery I was really disturbed i saw you know dozens and dozens of pickup trucks with uh, you know, uh, explicatives against Joe Biden, and in some cases just dozens of American flags, which, you know, uh, is also just disturbing. Now, as much as I cannot stand Meghan McCain, she does manage to eke out some wisdom in this case and ripped Behar and Democrats very effectively. Um, when you have people like Bernie Sanders who have praised Fidel Castro and said that it was, quote, uh, unfair to con condemn a communist regime, we have a party in the Democratic Party where um, white liberal Democrats statistically define their party 44% to 36% as supporting socialism over capitalism, um, while Hispanic uh, Americans in this country support capitalism 47% to 28%. People like Bernie Sanders leading it in, in a faction of the party, praising people like Fidel Castro, Hispanic Americans and Cuban Americans, a lot of times have fled regimes like that and don't want it to come here. Even a kernel of talking about socialism or communism in any way in a positive uh, place in the United States of America is, is not only dangerous, but it's just asininely stupid. And um, I think we're seeing in real time uh, the the ramifications of that. If there is any actual threat of authoritarianism in this country, right now, that lays with the Democrat Party and their provenly violent communist mobs. Right now, these people can't even bring themselves to acknowledge that the people of Cuba are rising up against communism. All right, folks, that's all I have for this one. As always, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, please hit that like button and let me know what you think in the comment section.